Hello my friends, today is Thursday, January the 4th, 2018. I hope you all have a happy new year. You did slide in smooth and happy. Uh, no big headaches, no big problems. I'm here in Panama City Beach, uh, where it is around, let me say, maybe 42 degrees right now at this moment. And um, yeah, I'm out here the first day, New Year, and see what we find here. And hopefully I can bring something good out to you guys. And that's what I'm gonna do here right now. Try to move a little bit out of the way, the lens flare. So my camera, my lens, my telescope lens, everything is pretty new and pretty adjusted and pretty clean. So there are no dust at nothing, you know, right in front of my camera. So therefore we will get a clear view here. Let's see what is this here. Okay, I'm sorry for that. Just have to adjust it right here and give you a clear view. I will show you. There's the ocean. There's the water. I just want to get it a little bit closer in here to see what we find. Maybe I adjust this a little bit more. Just to make sure we see everything we want to see here today. So we have already some chemtrails coming in, like you can see, they're coming in from the southeast side. Uh, they're right on top on the on the sun, on our sun. We see the lens flare, the veiling, veiling uh, uh, flare, and also the ghost flare here in my camera and therefore I moved this a little bit over here so everything what you see to the right side right now is a shadow is a lens flare everything else what we see here is what we find here in the sky so I let it run here without interfering right now and see what we have a little bit later Maybe I go out for a couple of seconds, so make sure you know this clip is not too long and we do not run out of space. And there we go guys. a little bit out there we go we see it now a little bit more from the from the uh, distance looks like we have some something between seven and eight o'clock position something is on the two o'clock position but let me see i move it around a little bit just to make sure we do not have the lens flare here in our pictures and there's something like i can see here right now on the 12 o'clock position also well, you can see the chemtrails, you can see a shining little round object. But I'm not so sure, it could also be something else. Move this a little bit around here. I want to make sure what we see here 
is what we see and not not something else what is not what is not there my friends so we let it run here you see my flower lens layers the purple ones there we go now we let it run like that kind of funny if you would you guys would be here right now if you would see how the people walking around we all look like little snowmen here with our jackets and scarves and gloves and hats just to keep our our ears our neck and everything warm and safe because the last year, 2017, it was really a bad year when it comes up to health, health problems. So therefore, we try to stay safe here on the safe side and keep yourself warm enough. Let me see if this is all clear enough here. Maybe I can adjust it less a little bit more. But I think it's pretty, pretty good. Seems pretty good here. I think it's clear enough. Move this a little bit here. You see the ocean again. To the left and to the right side is not that much to see as the chemtrails also already coming in on the bottom underneath the sun on top on the ocean so we go with a lens flare here to the other side keep it for a little bit there yeah guys even with good equipment like I said so many times before um, you can have the problems of seeing um, all these lens flare and uh, the ghostly flares and whatever comes between it Veiling flares and even if my lens have a very good coating um, I still have to deal with the lens flares and it's cannot avoid it if I would like to avoid it I think I would have to buy me equipment for about six seven eight ten thousand dollars And this is at this moment not what I would like to invest. Um, I have a good camera. It's a Yukon. I have this one already a couple of years and I bought me another camera. A Nikon. It was always something I would like to do. And that's what I did. But at this moment, I still use my old camera and my telescope lens on top on it. No color lens, flare, uh, no color lens, uh, laser lens are used here. Everything what we see right now is just with a regular camera and with a regular telescope lens.
sun is reflecting just a little bit more in the water like you can see here water is calm maybe one or two foot high nothing major but the wind chill the way the wind feels here right now at this moment is kind of cold the vibration what you see or feel here right now and see doing my filming as a vibration when people walking by and I'm here on the pier it's a wood pier at the beach and then the whole floor the whole <laughs> site is vibrating and that's why you see the vibration here The sun at this moment looks pretty, pretty orange. The surroundings are it's very dark, dark orange and dark reddish. Go around a little bit. Some chemtrails on top, yellowish looking, like you can see. Everything around here looks now pretty dark, the darkness of the chemtrails, or chemtrail mist, and some more chemtrails right in front of the sun. And like I said before, it looks like as those chemtrails are behind the, the sun because the sun is so bright and when the chemtrails traveling in front of the sun they are so bright same like the sun and therefore it looks like the chemtrails are right behind clouds are behind the sun but this is not the case the chemtrails and the clouds cannot be it is not possibly scientifically not possibly to have the clouds behind the sun just this here just a little bit more. more adjustment so you see underneath pinkish looking lens flare also to the side a little bit that's why I'm moving it around sun looks like have a hat on <laughs> Keep it like here and let it run for a little bit longer and see what we what we find. I cannot see right now anything to the left, to the side or above the sun. Maybe if there was something, it's hard to say because the chemtrails on top are pretty pretty dense. Keep it running like that for a moment and let us see. Yeah, chemtrails are pretty, pretty thick and a lot of clouds around the sun. But it looks like, it looks like we might be 
have a sunset if the bottom is not going more if not coming more together the clouds underneath the sun looks like there is a little spot to the right side but it could be just an illuminating of the chemtrails from the sun not so sure about that move the lens away here the lens flare Yeah, on top on the sun right now I see some more clouds, chemtrails coming in. Otherwise the southeast on top of the ocean is very dense and dark. The same to the southwest side. Some more light chemtrails. Maybe we can show you these ones here. It's nothing really major like you can see not really that much I can show you now going back here to our filming looks like there is something between I can see this also with my bare eyes right now something between the 12 and 1 o'clock position a little small object but like i said cannot really tell because we have the chemtrails on top and this could be also just been illumination into the chemtrails clouds above from our sun Not so much going on here also, you know, we have, normally we have the birds flying around, all kind of birds in the water and going hunting and then, you know, they're flying by, mostly flying in front of the sun when I capture my, my clips of my video. But today it looks like the only thing what is flying around here right now are the helicopters. So <laughs> nothing I can show you here right now, nothing special. So the sun is about almost half a way down. That's it. You still can see the color of the sun a little bit underneath, illuminating on the water. The purple lens flare is still around underneath to the right side. And the little shadow of the sun is also underneath to the left side in the water. Yeah, the sun is almost gone. See how it looks above. I'm gonna make sure there's no shadow in our way which could influence our view or the thought of something and then it isn't. So my friends the sun just went down. She is gone. We wait another minute here and see if we can catch something else. I'm just holding on here for a moment. Okay, my dear friends, I had the camera off for a second just to make sure we do not run out out of space here and want to make sure we see everything. You can see uh, the dense chemtrails as a black mist and then you see the lighter clouds or chemtrails above which change right now the color 
Yeah, the color is changing, going right now more intensive. And then you see underneath on the bottom, to the left a little light, and then to the right you see something. And this is not the first time with, that we spotted this little round object to the right side underneath the cloud there. The same, same recording I had couple of days ago maybe a week ten days ago was the same spot there which is kind of weird so I believe this is the object or another object about the Sun what we can see here right now and the little beady one is coming out to the left side Did you catch a good one yeah, yeah it's nice <laughs> Yeah, some people coming out here and they are taking pictures from the sunset but I'm very interested right now in this round glowing spot there right almost in the middle of my of my camera right now i know guys you have to watch the whole thing uh, most of the time because i wanted to show you everything you know from the sun how the sun comes down what we can see within the time the sun comes down and also after the sun went down I would like to see you everything that you can see everything see the color see the round object which is just to the right side right now or a little bit to the left but it's glowing out to the right side like it is shining out there but we had this same round orb many times before when I look all the way up to the upper area of the camp trails looks like there is a little spot but like I said it's very hard very uh, uh, sorry it's very hard <laughs> yeah I wished it would be hard it's very hard to spot those objects um, and we never know right now uh, where the orbits are you know where these objects are directly and it seems like there must be very low very low with the Sun uh, with the sunset in the chemtrails because otherwise they would start chemtrailing uh, more the upper part and this is not the case the rest of the sky above me is pretty 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 blue blue and um, no chemtrails to see in this area I just spotted something let me go over here a little bit to this area there a little bit more just saw it there was something interesting. That's not, it's just chemtrail clouds. Going back down here to this area, which is still a very interesting spot there. Because you can see that it looks like there's a round orb shining through coming through through the clouds it's a shadow of a round object i don't know <coughs> back to the spot there not that much to see for us. This is a pretty clear, pretty clear spot there, which indicates, and it's the same area actually where the sun went down. 
the same spot so that means this object was then above the sun but we couldn't see it because of the color of the sky of the mist chemical mist from the chemtrails then now you later see the dark purple blackish color or reddish color whatever this object have and it's going down much much slower than actually the sun um, we are for sure I mean we are turning it is us who are moving so that means this object is moving too somehow to some point but slower slower and a slower way that's why it was there so that's all what i can show you guys we have here 26 minutes right now like i said before i hope you're all okay you enjoy your new year hope this year will bring a lot of good things for us all of us and uh, not the terrible terrible like 2017 went by with so much events but i don't know i do not have such a good feeling about that i think there's much more for us to come much more for us to see and much more for us to challenge so my friends that was my first clip here 2018 you all stay safe watch the cell phone news as like i always say and be safe by driving love you all see you when i do my next clip and you guys stay safe have a good night bye bye